What's up, Ultimate Ninja Chicago? My name's Derek Pavoni, the Pizza Ninja. Welcome to week one of the Competitive League. All right, we're gonna be going over the course rules, so make sure you're paying attention. Before I get into the course rules of each obstacle, let's go over the general rules. First, this course will have a two minute and 45 second time limit. You will be able to proceed through the course even if you fall up until your time limit is up. You will be allowed two people on the course. One person will be there to, could be there to film you and the other person to help you chalk. All right, as I go through the course rules, make sure you're paying attention and have questions ready. We will have a few minutes before we start on Saturday for questions, but other than that, let's get to the course. Your first obstacle, it's called wall dash. It will start here on the green box. You will then work across the mushrooms to the BOSU, onto the wall, staying inside this green box, to the BOSU, to this green box, dismount here. All right, this is a three point obstacle. You get one point when you touch this BOSU ball. You get two points when you touch the wall, and you receive your third and final point when you reach the dismount. On to obstacle number two. Obstacle number two is the body prop. You will start here on this side of the tumble track. You will keep your hands on the rolling side, feet on the wall. You will work your way through the obstacle. Once you have started on the rollers, you are now locked and cannot touch the floor at all past that tumble track. This is also a three point obstacle. You receive your first point when you touch this green roller. You receive your second point when you touch this green roller. And then you receive your third and final point when you dismount onto this green box. On to the next obstacle. This obstacle is a five point obstacle. It starts here on this red pad. You will dash through the tumble tracks to the parkour step. Over here, this truss right here will be on. You will proceed to the ring. Again, the truss will be on so you can use your feet. To get to here, whatever you need to do, this truss is on. Then you're going to the rings, through to this ring, onto this bar. Again, this truss is also on. And then you will be dismounting from the black bar onto this red mat. The points for this obstacle. You receive your first point once you reach this red box. You receive your second point when you reach the blue parkour step. You receive your third point once you touch this ring here, you receive your fourth point when you reach the black bar. You receive your fifth and final point once you dismount onto the red mat. On to the next obstacle. This obstacle is called ringside. You start on this ring, you progress your way to this ring, onto the slip chuck, and then across to this ring, dismounting onto the green. This is a three point obstacle. You receive your first point. Once you touch this ring, second point when you touch the slip chuck, and your third and final point on the dismount. Moving on to the next obstacle. The next obstacle is a five point obstacle. It is called Pirate's Revenge. It will start here on this cannonball. You will work your way through the cannonball to the ring, onto the captain's hooks. These you will have to unlock and lock into the carabiners throughout the obstacle, unhook, hook, unhook, hook, unhook, hook, and then dismount on to this blue pad. The points work. You receive your first point once you touch this cannonball. You receive your second point once you reach the two hooks. I'll put them back in place to show you. See point two once you reach this, once you get your hand on this hook, you receive your third point once you have hooked it into this carabiner, your fourth point when you've hooked it into this carabiner, and then you receive your fifth and final point when you dismount onto the blue. From Pirates Revenge, you're going on to walk the plank. You start here on this red pad. You will then work your way. This is green only. You cannot touch the blue, only the top on the green. You will then move on to the black bar. Again, black bar only, no green onto the plank on the BOSU balls. Now, the BOSU balls are off. You can only use the plank, work your way down, and dismount 
onto the green pad. All right, this is a four point obstacle. You receive your first point once you reach this, this plank here. Receive your second point once you touch the black bar. Receive your third point once you make it past this tape line on the balance beam and your fourth and final point when you dismount. All right, now moving on to the second to last obstacle. It starts here. You will jump to this parkour step. Reach up for the trapeze bar. Then you are going to use the trapeze bar to the rings. Rings over to the nunchucks. And then nunchucks dismounting past the blue tape. This is a five point obstacle. You receive one point once you touch the step. Two points when you reach the bar, three points when you touch the ring, four points when you touch the nunchucks, and then finally your fifth and final point when you dismount past the blue. Final obstacle is called watch the beam. Once you dismount on this past the blue line here, you will be able to come over here, get as much run up as you need, run, hit the trampoline, over the beam, and then on to the buzzer that will be right here. That will be the buzzer. So, points for this obstacle. This is a two-point obstacle. You receive one point if you make it just to the pad, but you knock this over. You receive two points if you jump over it, make it to the pad without knocking over the beam. Good luck, everybody. Hope you have your questions ready for Saturday, and have a great time. See you then. Yeah.